Welcome back to my vlog, y'all. This is a review of the Emacs RS2 2306 1600KV motors that Emacs just released. I believe they're $24, $24.99. Um, beautiful looking motor. You know, I'll do a little close up of them here in a second. Yeah, a little close up of the Emacs 2306 1600KV motors. Nice looking motor. Got some nice pinkish anodizing in the cutouts, the bell. Looks really nice. I'm assuming the weight savings is all in the bell. The bell feels really light. Just spinning it feels really lightweight. There's not a whole lot of material to it. Well, where else can you save weight on a motor like this? Base looks, yeah, the base is. This looks like just about any other naked bottom base I've seen. And look at that Rate 32 ESC. Damn, those ESCs are dirty. I think I've lost one ESC on this quad. And those these ESCs have had uh, a six six or so motors soldered to them. <laughs> Pretty impressive ESC. Tough little buggers. That is the 2306 RS2 Emacs motor. Is this the light spec? It should be called the light spec. It's freaking light. Close up of the Mad Hatter. Pretty dirty. Still got the BF BFF3 in there. RJX hobby straps. Get yours on uh, Amazon. There's RJX Hobby. Right now, um, I already flew them. You'll see that footage coming up. Uh, this may be the the most efficient motor on 6S that I've ever flown, and, and still gives uh, tons of power. I'll show the uh, amp draw at the end. Impressive motor. I, I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, they got 20, it's 27 grams. It may be uh, 26 with the short wires, but I dropped 20 grams, almost 20 grams off this quad just putting these motors on over the F40, T motor F40 V1s, F40 Pro V1s. And Tons more power over those motors. Tons. 611 grams all up weight. Check out the footage. I was impressed. You'll probably be impressed. I couldn't believe it. Nice job, Emax. Good work.
65 amps. Can that be right? I don't think that's right. 3 minutes 54 seconds. Well, let's recharge this battery to and see if it puts back in 826 milliamps. That's <laughs> 65 amps. I didn't change anything. Uh, I just put these motors on, took the uh, F40 V1s off, pros. 20.9 volts. Could these be some of the most efficient motors ever? And they are not hot either. Jesus Christ. That's pretty amazing. And my props just got a little dinged up. Oh man, a brand new set of props too. Any loose, loose ones? No. These motors felt really freaking impressive. I don't know what to say. They had a way more punch than the F40 Pro V1s 1600 kV that came off of this. Uh, it was uh, it was pretty unbelievable. Jesus, impressive, Emacs. Damn, I don't know what y'all did. They had tons and tons of, felt like they had tons and tons of thrust over the uh, F40 Pro V1s. And 65 amps, that can't be right. Alright, let's recharge that battery. Alright, so I put back in 886 on this battery. So it was reading a little bit low, but still pretty good. It's pretty close. Still the most efficient motors that I've tested on 6S and still give good performance. Uh, it felt felt great. Felt like a I don't want to say it felt like a 2500 kV motor on 4S, but it sure it sure did feel that way. It felt really really responsive. Ah, he's that word a lot. If they felt really good, I, I don't know. I don't know what kind of magic Emacs is doing over there. It's an impressive motor. Hopefully it stands the test of time, holds up to crashes. The bearings hold up. We'll see. I don't know. Super light. Light motors don't tend to last long on my quads. Still, nice motor. I like it. I dig it. Um, I don't know where I got mine. You can get yours all over the place. Anywhere. Oh, Powerfoot. I think I got mine at Powerfoot. No, Race Day Quads. Yeah, Race Day Quads. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more Emacs 6S Mad Hatter action. Fly this quad a couple more times. We'll see.